whether you're wanting to get more done during the day, but you are sick and tired of listening to all of those gurus that say, well, you gotta be out grinding. You just gotta be out working and slaving and grinding every moment of every day because you're exhausted and you go, I don't want to have to do that. Today, I wanna to dispel some interesting misconceptions about that and teach you what I call the ultimate productivity formula. First and foremost, it's not about how busy you are. It's not about how many hours or days you go without sleep. It's not about how many hours you're working, it's about how much you get done within those hours. Does that make sense? There are people that get way more done in a single hour than some people do in an entire day. What I wanna share with you today is what I call my ultimate productivity formula. And if this is the first time you've ever heard this, this may seem counterintuitive to you, but I've shared this with a lot of my mentoring clients and this has allowed them to grow their businesses very, very quickly because again, they're able to get a lot more done in a fraction of the time as I cover, oh, there we go, there's the camera, as I cover the camera with my hand. They're able to get a lot more done in a fraction of the time. Number one, make sure to get a full night's sleep every single day. And most people don't realize just how much sleep they need. A lot of people believe that they can get by on five to six hours and they see uh, some multi-billionaires and they hear that they average five hours of sleep per night and they think, oh, in order to become a billionaire, in order to be super productive, that's what I have to do. I have to survive on five hours of sleep or less and the rest of the time I gotta be grinding. Well, darn it, I keep covering that. While that may be true for some people, most of us don't do too well. Most people need between seven and nine hours or more of sleep per night in order to function at their optimal. And what that means is, studies have been shown that the people that need that type of sleep, if they get less than six hours per night, they actually have the same cognitive functions as someone who is drunk. And so can you be as productive as possible if you're drunk? No, of course not. And so number one, make sure to get a full night's sleep every single night whenever possible. Wait a second, Eric, but I'm a mom and I have a business and I got all these crazy things. I know. Start by getting one extra hour of sleep. Remember, it's all about productivity. If you can be twice as productive while uh, working half the time, that's gonna be more ideal. Does that make sense? Number two, no screens the first hour after you wake up. And of course the one exception is if you use your phone in order to write down ideas, if you use your phone to write down action steps that day, okay, I get that. Or if you're turning off like a meditation track or something that you listen to. Otherwise, no answering messages, no answering texts, no answering phone calls, no checking emails, and most importantly, no checking social media for that full first hour after you wake up. The reason why is because that first hour is getting you primed and ready for the day. Have you ever gone on social media or uh, received like a really negative text message or seen like a really negative post and that kind of just set you up for a really crappy day for the rest of the day? That's exactly what you're wanting to avoid. The first hour of their day is designed for goal setting, writing down what you hope to achieve that day. It's for prayer if you're a spiritual person like I am. It's for reading inspirational books. If you're a churchy type person like me, you can read scriptures. Um, it's for meditation, it's for visualization, it's for exercise. And so again, no screens of any kind during that first hour after waking. Number three, work in one hour blocks. Studies have shown that there is kind of an optimal window of how long you can work and stay productive. And usually it's about between 50 and 120 minutes. And so I usually just like to do about an hour at a time. This is one hour of focus. And after that hour is up, you give yourself a break. Take five, 10 minutes to go get a drink of water. Take um, a chance to, if possible, go outside, get a breath of fresh air. And so work in one hour blocks, taking a quick break after each time because that allows you to reset your brain. Studies have shown that the brain can only handle seven new bits of information at a time. And so if you're working for longer than that and you try to give your brain a lot more, then that's when your productivity levels begin to decrease. And so again, one hour blocks, whenever, when you're working on a project and while you're working on that project, you're working on that project, nothing else. You're not checking emails, you're not checking social media, you're simply uh, working on that project. Now, 
If you're the type of person that has to respond to emails or messages or something, maybe you are your business owner, maybe uh, you're expecting some type of message, designated two hours, maximum three, throughout the day that you do that. And so, for example, maybe there's an hour in the morning, remember not your first hour, but maybe you designate from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. for checking messages, responding, uh, responding to emails, sending off emails, that type of thing, and then maybe something in the afternoon, uh, like 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Now, if you are like an on-call emergency doctor or something like that that has to have your phone on, Okay, there's an exception, but most of us don't have that. Most of us are simply addicted to having our phones on all the time, and we get really addicted to seeing those little red notification dots, and we're like, oh, I got a notification, oh, somebody liked one of my posts, or I got a message or something, and um, it very much decreases our productivity. And so, however, if you designate those two hours during the day for that, your people will survive in most cases, again, unless you're like an on-call heart surgeon or something like that, people will will get used to you responding just during those times. In most cases, you and they will survive. Does that make sense? And again, you'll be able to boost your productivity. And so number four, as I mentioned, only two, maximum three hours during the day that you respond and check messages. Cool? Now, this one may seem very, very counterproductive, especially, and that's one hour of personal me time every day. Some people call this uh, blue screen time. Some people call this personal fulfillment time. And this is just a, a one hour each day in which you spend time doing something that fulfills you. It could be something that relaxes you. And so for my wife, she loves just relaxing in a really hot bath all to herself after the kids are, are in bed when she could just be by herself and she could just let her brain relax. Um, this may be working on a hobby. It could be working on a new business idea. It could be um, just something that gives you joy, something that you go, ooh, I cannot wait to work on this. Some people it's playing an instrument. Some people it's cuddling with their cat. Whatever it is, just the one hour guilt-free, shame-free, a personal me time to fill that fulfillment tank. And that's number five. Number six is making sure no screens the last hour before you go to bed. The reason why is because your phone emits a certain frequency and certain amounts of light. When your brain sees that, it believes that it's time to wake up. It believes that it's daytime, and so it can make it really, really difficult to fall asleep and then get your full night's sleep. And so the last hour before you go to bed, dim the lights. If you're going to turn on a, a meditation track, okay, that's fine. Um, but turn that on and use the last hour before sleep for reading. Use it for prayer. Use it for pondering. Use it for setting goals for the next day. Just make sure there's no screens during that last hour before you go to bed. Now, if you really want to take it up a notch, number seven is drinking a green smoothie every single day. I've talked about uh, green smoothies, how they can dramatically boost your energy levels. Uh, that's fantastic. If you want my personal green smoothie recipe, the people that use it and that drink it every single day, they usually um, report having dramatically higher energy levels. Uh, some people like 30% increase, some people like 100% increase in their energy levels. And so if you want my personal green smoothie recipe, comment below, shoot me a private message, send me an email. I'm happy to send that to you for free. And that's number seven, making sure you're getting the nutrients that you need in order to have the energy that you need in order to be as productive as possible. And so follow these. If you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's Feel Well, Live Well. If you aren't a member of my Enjoy Yourself Thin Facebook group, it's totally free and you get videos like this and much, much more, not just on weight reduction, but on business advice, on how to grow uh, mentoring and coaching practices, if that's something that you're in. And of course, just how to be more productive and how to be better. We've got lots of amazing videos, uh, five times a week that we're putting out content. And so make sure to join Enjoy Yourself Thin. Love you.